everybody, it's me Lacey. Welcome to Just Beautiful. Today I'm going to do another one of my hairline friendly um, hairstyles. It's the braided headband. I really hope you enjoy it. It's pretty e fairly easy. Um, as long as you can cornrow, you can get it done. Um, I have always kind of admired these braided, intricate braided um, hairstyles. I think um, when I googled it, it's Ethiopian. It's a traditional Ethiopian hairstyle. I'm not sure if anybody knows better. They can always correct me because, like I said, I'm not sure. But um, they do these hairstyles where they kind of braid the front of their hair and put some of it down on the hairline. So I'm going to do my take on that today. And I hope it's clear and that you like it. All right. So here we go. I did some of the parting before I came on camera so that the video wouldn't be too long. Um, so let me explain explain what I did um, I've done one part down the middle here in the front see that and the part it starts smaller and gets a little wider as I get to the front of my hair right so it's smaller here than here right just slightly smaller then I have the sides here parted out right down each side straight down and all I did was just snatch literally I didn't even pat it with a comb I just kind of snatched a little bit of the hair from the very bottom and section that off so this is how I'm going to start the hairstyle I'm going to do these two corners first and then I'll be back to do the middle so I've done the first two corners here and here now for the middle um, let me just crack this back so it's easier to see Time for the middle, and the middle corner comes forward and then breaks into two parts in the front. And like I said before, it starts small and then gets big, so at the top there's not much to hold on to, but just kind of look around for a few strands of hair to, to start it with. Hope you can see. almost to the end and I'm just going to break it in two. I'm trying to divide the hair as equally as possible between the two sides. All right? To make as neat a braid as possible um, you'll have to plait all the way out I'm just gonna plait as long as it will be to bring it to the side so I'm not really gonna plait all the way to the end and just repeat on the other side So now I have two braids at the end of one corner. Can you see that? Good. Um, let me just move this out of the way for a bit. This is just the end of the first two corners that I did, right? Yeah. Um, the little bit of hair that would have been left out at the end of the first corners, <coughs> sorry, 
they're gonna be joining these to that braid all right but you just enough not too tightly just enough to give it a bit of a curve near the front right so i have to take my glasses off for this so i'm going to be braiding my radar because i am practically blind without them but and i'm trying to make sure my braid my braid is facing upwards right and I'm just adding it into this here. What you're doing, what you can do is you can just separate the hair in two and then the braid will be the third strand of hair, right? After I make a first, my first few braids, I just kind of adjust it and then continue braiding. I'm not braiding it all the way out because I'm going to be joining that in as well. And I repeat on the other side. on and check to see if it's the look I want. Alright, yeah. That's good. Good. I let this out. I didn't braid all the way to the end of this as yet. I'm going to join all of this together now into one braid. I'm gonna put a few more braids into it and I'll be back with the finished product. So yeah, um, like I said before, you could leave it with the, just the two rows, but I did another two rows at the top. I just brought it here and, and, and came down behind the first corner that I did. Is that my gray hair? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and that's it. You can, I think this style would be great with a ponytail at the back so you can do it like that or you can wear it with a puff right so
and that is how I do my high pop. Of course, since I spritzed it, it's going to come into a nice, it's going to shrink a little and form a nice round shape. If I find that the top is misbehaving like, like it is right now, I just spray it some more and tease it into a round shape. Come on here. At the top always wants to fall down when I do a puff, so I have to rely on shrinkage to get a decent wrong puff. So shrinkage isn't all that bad. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'll do a few shots of it so that you can see it from all angles and hope it was clear and easy to follow. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. Alright, so look out for even more edge-friendly hairstyles. Um, take care and thanks for watching. Just be beautiful. Bye!